The ancient Egyptians loved their pets. So it isn't surprising that a pharaoh might take a four-legged companion into the afterlife. Animal mummies were very common in ancient Egypt, and they progressively, over time, became increasingly more common. It probably started out quite gently with pet mummies, because people who loved their pets wanted the pets with them in their afterlife. And so you wind up saying, OK, when I die or after I die, bury my pet with me. And of course, the pet has to be mummified in the same way as the person does. And so we have these pet mummies being made. And they were often made in as fine a way as the human beings, and sometimes even more care and attention was lavished upon them. And what's extraordinary is the amount of fur that is still visible on them, um, because especially with the dog, with his tail that curls up, he looks as if he's about to open up his eyes and start wagging and barking. So he is really a very lively looking creature, and the quality of mummification is superb.